here uh, outside in a snowy afternoon to check out our cold frames here. This is uh, our first attempt at winter gardening. <clears throat> it's uh, January, and so we're gonna try and see how our cold frames are doing. They do get froze down, so you have to do something about that. But uh, <clears throat> we did notice a while ago that a lot of these plants had gotten really cold and froze. Um, but I think that's because we opened it when it was uh, not able to, it was too cold out. Anyways, you can see new growth. I mean, this is January and I've got lettuce growing like crazy. This is all new, new growth. It's just started to happen a little while. We've been harvesting some. Um, but yeah, that's all lettuce that's growing in here and there's a little bit of arugula and stuff. So yeah, we were harvesting pretty good up until uh, mid-November. We got a really cold snap in that kind of slowed things down. But uh, yeah, it's starting to grow again. We'll probably start harvesting again here in a little bit. Okay, this one has herbs in it. Looking to see the mint is actually doing, sorry, the lemon balm is actually doing really well in here. It will probably make it just fine through the winter. Um, probably need to water it. You only have to water maybe once a month or so. Um, rosemary's looking good. So I did just clip some rosemary for dinner not too long ago. Yeah. It's delicious. Still going strong in the middle of winter. That was cardamom, no? What was that? Oh, sweet marjoram. It died pretty quick. I don't think that's a very cold hardy one. <laughs> we'll see if it comes back. Yeah. So this is our parsley. It's actually doing really good too. It's doing I haven't really opened, good. We haven't opened up this one yet, I don't think. And this is arugula or, where's that chard? Can't remember on that one. I think it's charred. I did plant uh, some onions in here and they're actually starting to green up. I feel like it's wilty. Do you think it needs water? Yeah, it probably all needs water. It's really dry in here. It's just so crazy to see all that green in the dead of winter. It's so fun. But yeah, we could harvest this stuff no problem. Oh, so. yeah. Basil. Basil didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew it would probably wouldn't. It was a pretty rough shape. It may, I don't know if the roots might be good still. We'll see. Yeah, it might come back quick. So but I did go in and, oh, it's frozen. Yeah, I did go in and plant garlic all in here. Um, so it's actually growing a little bit. But it died fast. Like it didn't even make it to November. Yeah, it's not a very cold hardy plant. And I kind of expected it, so. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, the so curry. That grew a ton. Yeah, it's still doing great. It's growing really strong. You should cook with that. Yeah, you got some more, some more chard in here. Mm -hmm. uh, this just looks like it's had a little bit of frost Is damage. Is that mold, do you think? Right yeah, there? I've been seeing mold in some of them, but. Hmm. That's oregano. It's still green as can be. Yeah, even the sage is going strong. Oh, my sage made it. Yum. Looking Stevia good, looks pretty dead and moldy. Yeah, I'll have to look into the the uh, mold on that and see what's causing that. Uh -huh. Oh, did you put chicken scratch in here? Yeah. Oh. So yeah, I added a bunch of chicken compost to this. This soil was really, really bad. Got it from a local place that just not very good. So, so I added this in to get some nutrients in there. Anyways, the mint's uh, definitely not growing still. It'll come back because it's a it's a very cold hardy plant for the roots and stuff. But just you won't be able to harvest anything. Asparagus yeah, and kept that's, growing. Yeah, that's the, funny. The asparagus is hardy. The lemon thyme looks great over there. You could probably harvest that in the winter. Yeah. So Smells we were just good. really curious if we covered these. Could we harvest in the winter? Or is this just going to kind of keep it green and growing so that when spring comes it just takes off fast? So... We'll see. So this is a, an old box that wasn't very well put together. I just threw out here just for curiosity's sake. So it's got carrots, um, parsnips, and uh, some uh, radishes in there. So I opened it up just the other day. Believe it or not, they're still growing. So this is all parsnip that I didn't get in until really late, and they're not very big. But the carrots, believe it or not, are growing just fine. 
That's a turnip there with actually, not turnip, that's a radish with some green growth growing out of the top. So it's actually growing right through the winter. Looks good. So I've heard rumors in the past that nothing beats a January carrot. Um, and that's true, when we tried them, there's no bitterness. Um, they tasted really good. Um, yeah, I was really impressed with how well they did. And these I didn't plant until it was early September when I planted these. And so, yeah, you can have carrots all, all through the winter. Yeah, so you can see the rest of the garden. Pretty quiet in this dormancy, but uh, very happy with how the cold frames have done. Um, it's nice to have lettuce in the middle of January. We're uh, pleased that it's going so well and I plan on expanding it even more next year. And there are some plants that are definitely not cold hardy and we learned that this year. And uh, we'll probably plant more that are more adapted for the cold. Anyways, I'm glad you could make it uh, today with us on our little tour through our winter garden. And uh, come on back for more inspiration for the keeper of the home. Mm -hmm.